Recently, Mercedes made their C-Class saloon better. From the interior to the engine, suspension and styling, in total they say they changed 2,000 different things. And now the biggest change of all, they've made a coupe version. The C-Class coupe has all of the improved bits of the saloon, but two less doors, an AMG body kit and adaptive agility control suspension as standard. But the best bit of this car, on paper at least, is the engine. This C350 has a 3.5 litre V6 petrol engine with 306 horsepower. But the headline grabber is the combined fuel economy of 40 miles per gallon. For a car with over 300 horsepower, that sounds like witchcraft. It will also do 0 to 60 in six seconds dead, hit 155 miles per hour, and is just as impressive when you stop reading stats and actually drive it. If you don't ask it to do much, it's happy to push you down the road without making any fuss. But it does have a bit of a naughtier side. You've got to wait a couple of seconds for the gearbox to engage into a lower gear. But when you've got it wound up, the noise is good, the sense of muscle power is good. It isn't quite as horny as a proper AMG car, admittedly, but it's got the same spirit. The engine then is class leading. More power from less fuel than rivals like the BMW 3 Series Coupe and Audi A5. But what about the rest of it? Well, the price is reasonable. This one costs £38,000, which is actually two grand less than the equivalent A5 and on par with the 3 Series. The interior is spot on too. It's better than the BMWs and just as good as the Audis. So, on to handling. This should be the Merc's party trick. The coupe's agility control suspension adapts to how you drive. Put simply, the faster you go, the stiffer it should get. I do think this is a more refined, more luxuriously sprung car than either a 3 Series or an A5. What I'm not sure about is how much it gets stiffer and harder when you start lobbing it about. It does change its character the faster you go. The body feels more tightly controlled, but overall this is a refined, comfy car rather than a sporty, hard car. This is a massively impressive car. It has a great engine, it's luxurious and athletic without being too sporty. It's exactly what a 40 grand coupe should be like. So, until BMW and Audi update their 3 Series coupe and A5, this is the pick of the bunch.